National Union of Women with Disabilities of Uganda, Ubuntu, is a women-led disabled people's organization. It's legally registered in Uganda with the National NGO Board as a non-governmental organization. This was formed in 1999 by a group of women and youth with disabilities at the National Conference held in Kampala, Uganda as a result of violence of rights of women and girls with disabilities, torture, barriers to social services, double discrimination and lack of recognition by women's rights movement, government and social societal discrimination as a minority population in Uganda. It is a membership organization established as an umbrella organization to bring together the categories of women and girls with disabilities to have a stronger and unifying voice to advocate for their rights and equal opportunities, fight injustices and violence against women and girls with disabilities. the chairperson of National Union of Women with Disabilities of Uganda. Yeah, my name is Guzu Beatrice. I am um, a visually impaired lady. I'm working with the National Council for Disability as the Executive Secretary. My name is Julia Chen and I'm the Executive Secretary of National Union of Women with Disabilities of Uganda. The idea of starting a women's organization came out when we were about members of UDIPO. UDIPO is the umbrella organization of disabled persons in Uganda. And in that, in UDIPO, we were given a wing of the women's uh, section so that we could meet as women. But it was unfortunate that it was very difficult for women to bring their issues because they were not so interested in being about members. So the women who were in that board decided to say, let's form an association which is exclusive of women. And we brought the idea in 1999, we formed the association, we had an interim committee where I happened to chair. And in that interim committee, we decided to put in a constitution and then look for funders to help us form the general assembly where we begin seeing how to put the structures for the world. From the love, we had some the disabled people of Denver who came to our rescue. We also had in the regular session of the disabled. They were able to fund us and we had our general assembly. In the general assembly, we had an election of the women and we formed the Ubu now in 2000 as a fully fledged organization. Before that, we had other women organizations for women with disabilities. Unfortunately, those women have not lived to the expectation of women with disabilities. And in that meeting, we also had members of those organizations to consult whether we did another organization for the women. Thereafter, we were able to form no women. This is uh, a women led disabled people's organization. It's uh, illegally registered and recognized by the government as a non profiting NGO. National Union of Women with Disabilities. Was actually one. I'm one of the founders of the National Union of Women with Disabilities. I because I participated in the in the women's forum that actually agreed on forming the the organization called the in 1999. And the, I also worked with the, the organization as a executive secretary for seven years from 2006 to 2013. Before that I was also a board member, the, the vice chairperson for I think around uh, four or five years. So I have I've known a lot about Nwodu. Nwodu was started by a group of women and girls with disabilities in the 1990s. Uh, during a conference that was held in Kampala. This was due to the constant violation of rights, barriers, to access 
to social services, discrimination, and lack of recognition by the government. But not just on a government, there are a number of NGOs that operate in Uganda. So these NGOs were also, especially the women rights movement in Uganda. When we look at the disability movement, the women with disabilities are also being disadvantaged. So all this coupled to the, 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 the start of this organization. Nuwodo is an umbrella organization that brings all categories of disabilities, I mean all categories of women with the different disabilities categories, to have a strong voice so that we are able to speak as a voice of these women. Um, Nuwodo started uh, as a result of inadequate services for women with disabilities being provided by organizations of persons with disabilities. Uh, actually, there was a gender desk at Nudipu, uh, National Union of Disabled Persons of Uganda, which used to have programs for, to address issues of women with disabilities. But um, in uh, 1999, the gender department in Nudipo organized a forum for women with disabilities to come and discuss a way forward for women with disabilities. There were two scenarios. One was that the gender department be expanded and the other scenario was the women form an independent organization. So in that forum of 1999, the women agreed that uh, it is better to form an independent organization which can really address all issues of women. And that is how uh, the National Union of Women with Disabilities, which is called NUODO, was formed. He, it was as a, a resolution from that forum. But also, the idea of the forum came from um, an earlier conference held in Zimbabwe by women in Eastern Southern Africa. Uh, as a recommendation from the Beijing Plus Five, which was held in, in, in China. And it was agreed that time that women should form their own organizations to promote the rights of women with disabilities. So when that resolution was discussed in Harare in Zimbabwe, that, is, that was in 1990. <laughs> but okay. at first they resolved to have the gender department in Udipu. They thought it would be able to address their issues. But as time went by, they saw the progress was limited. So in 1999 that forum was again called. And it was as in that forum that finally Nuod was now formed and there was an independent organization for women with disabilities. Nuodo is a voice that advocates, promote, and advance the rights of women with disabilities for equal participation. And we do this through our structures, which structures, of course, we have the membership, and this membership are in the various districts of Uganda, though we don't take all, but we also have the National Disabled People's Organizations. These are the members that constitute the General Assembly. We also have the second structure, which is the Board of Directors, who are elected during the General Assembly. Because Nuwodo is built on a strong foundation of democracy since its it, since it is inception, Nuwodo elects their board representatives every after five years. We also have the secretariat. Basically, the secretariat are the ones whom the board delegates the roles to do the implementation of activities.
The board's role is basically coming out with policies, development of new policies, and then amending the existing policies where necessary. Nowodo has a strong system in place because we are governed with a number of uh, instruments. We have a constitution that guides us and then we also have a number of policies that helps the staff to do their work at the Secretariat. Nowodos work is basically on mobilization of women and girls with disabilities to participate in the government programs. We also do a lot of capacity building, as you may be aware that a number of women and girls with disabilities do have this challenge of not knowing what is going on, especially looking at the number of families who tend to keep them. So they do not get exposed to what goes around them. So we do a lot of capacity building as one of the roles of Nuwodu. But of course our biggest mandate is basically advocacy. Advocacy to ensure that the women's rights are not violated. For example, with the programs that we are on, we are having gender-based violence. Gender-based violence affects all of us because by virtue of us being women, we also get this gender-based violence. And the program of gender-based violence has really helped bring out the issues that has been affecting these women. We are implementing this project in Koboko and Pade, but initially we had also uh, implemented a project in Kotido. But then we have downsized this project into two districts because of the magnitude of the problem in these two districts. A number of cases has been already taken to court and the officer is working on it with the court people to ensure that justice is done. We are also having a project that has helped our women so much is the sexual reproductive health rights. Before this project came in, a number of women with disabilities were of course getting children because they felt that maybe they were not they were not entitled to have sex. So people looked at sex, these women looked at sex as an opportunity than rights. For example, the, um, the uniqueness of world is really addressing the peculiar needs of, of women with disabilities. Like for instance, uh, supporting, building the capacity of women to, to participate in leadership positions, uh, but also influencing participation of women with disabilities in the mainstream women's movement. You know, the women, mainstream women's movement also marginalizes women with disabilities. So Nuodu has been trying to influence that we are women first and the disability comes second. So we should also participate in activities of the mainstream women's movement. And um, Nuodu has also influenced uh, legislation uh, which is favoring uh, women with disabilities. For instance, the inclusion of women in the women councils and then also the inclusion of women in the uh, education sector, those are the unique things that Nuod has been able to, to really perform. As a result of that, at least we have some re uh, members of parliament who really came as a result of uh, that capacity. For instance, we have our 
Honorable Asamu, she has been the chairperson of Nwood for some time, but now she's a member of parliament. We also have uh, Honorable Babadil. She started as a, a desk officer for the gender desk, but now she's also a member of parliament and she has been there for over 20 years. She has even been able to contest and compete with the other able-bodied people in the Koboko district. She's representing the people in Koboko district, not now disabilities. So that has been a big achievement for us as Nwood. Um, one of the things that I know about this organization, about the success of the organization is that we have managed to reach out to a number of women and girls with disabilities in Uganda in some districts where we are working with. We have also managed to network with other organizations, not necessarily for women with disabilities, to uh, include needs of women and girls with disabilities. We have also worked with other organizations like um, the women's rights movement. We have worked with other disability rights organizations to ensure that the needs and also the challenges of women and girls with disabilities are being mainstreamed. We have been in position to influence attitude change for both service providers and other actors in the development in this country so that they are sensitive and also they recognize the needs of inclusion of girls and women with disabilities. And we have also managed to expose our women and girls with disabilities to the world that they have the capacity, they have the ability and the knowledge to take on their leadership and also to strengthen their capacity in doing certain things. Particularly, I want to talk about the sexual reproductive health rights. We have really tried as much as possible to make women enjoy their rights, uh, their sexual reproductive health rights, using information uh, disseminated to them and also training them on the rights and also the legal system in place. We have tried as much as possible to make sure that women with disabilities are aware and able to, to manage their own affairs and also to challenge stigma associated with reproductive health systems. Nowodo's work is basically on mobilization of women and girls with disabilities to participate in the government programs. We also do a lot of capacity building, as you may be aware that a number of women and girls with disabilities do have this challenge of not knowing what is going on, especially looking at the number of families who tend to keep them. So they do not get exposed to what goes around them. So we do a lot of capacity building as one of the roles of Nwodo. But of course our biggest mandate is basically advocacy. Advocacy to ensure that the women's rights are not violated. For example, with the programs that we are on, we are having gender-based violence. Gender-based violence affects all of us because by virtue of us being women, we also get this gender-based violence. And the program of gender-based violence has really helped bring out the issues that has been affecting these women. We are implementing this project in Koboko and Pade, but initially we had also uh, implemented a project in Kotido. But then we have downsized this project into two districts because of the magnitude of the problem in these two districts. A number of cases have been already taken to court and the officer is working on it with the court people to ensure that justice is done. We are also having a project that has helped our women so much is the sexual reproductive health rights. Before this project came in, a number of women with disabilities were of course getting children because they felt that maybe they were not they were not entitled 
to have sex. So people looked at sex, these women looked at sex as an opportunity than rights. For example, say, you know, I love you. And this woman would say, oh, this is my opportunity. So I should be able to grab it. Not knowing that for you to have children is a right, but you must also plan for these children. So a number of women were producing children and the children that they would not be able to manage. So when this project came up, the women then got to understand that sexual reproductive health is a right. A right that you need to negotiate, a right that you need to plan for. And this has helped women to do this. But sexual reproductive health is not just only on their side. But the women also look at the services that they are supposed to access. For example, accessing these services of sexual reproductive health. Accessing the beds, accessing the family planning, which of course is about information. So how do these women access information in terms of family planning, the different types of family planning? How do they access the other sexual transmitted diseases? You know HIV AIDS is on the rampant. So these women need to know this information. So this, this uh, sexual productive health was started as a project which was called Sex by Choice, Not by Chance. And this opened the minds of these women because this project first started in Kamuri and then later on it went to started in Kamuri and Pichi and then later on it expanded to Gomba from Pichi but from Kamuri it expanded to Buyende and eventually we also went to Nebi and this project is, has come out with very tangible results. At the moment we are trying to engage the government, especially the health sector, so that we are able to have uh, access to these health services without any discrimination, but to have it with reasonable accommodation so that everybody does not get discriminated. We all get these services because we are all We are going to try as much as possible to create awareness of the community on the rights of women with disabilities and to reduce gender-based violence against women with disabilities. At the moment, in some of the selected districts in Uganda, women with disabilities are enjoying their rights and are able to report also cases of violence against them to the responsive authority. So as Nwudu, I am really, really very happy and pleased that whatever little we do, there is great change in the community and also with the service providers that are working with us and also with other civil society organizations. And we are still going to continue partnering with people to bring the voice of women with disabilities on the platform of the women's rights organizations as well as on the disability platform. So we are going to take our advocacy from the national level to international level to ensure that women and girls with disabilities are not left behind. Yes, as I said earlier on, Wudu has built the capacity of women to stand on their rights, to advocate for their rights, to demand for their rights. At least there and Wudu has solved the problem of inferiority complex which has been among women with disabilities. They thought they could not do something for themselves, they were always fearing. So you find that even in the districts where women were very not able to speak for themselves or not able to demand for their rights, they are now able to demand for their rights. Secondly, um, also the legislation, uh, most of it favored men in general, but also men with disabilities. So the work of Nwodu has also been able to influence legislation to be gender and disability sensitive. Uh, I think those are the two key areas. Uh, the third one is um, 
the economic situation of women with disabilities. Many of the programs Mwondo has implemented has also raised uh, income for women with disabilities. It has raised their economic status. So I think Mwondo has solved three major problems. One is the income status of women, two is the legislation, and the three Present. Then. Okay. Um, I think what I want Mwondo to do differently is now providing tangible services for women with disabilities. The, we have, the organization has done a, uh, a lot of advocacy and they have achieved maybe in terms of um, influencing laws and policies. But now what is not, not yet completely or which is not yet adequately done is the actual provision of services for women with disabilities. Uh, for instance, uh, improving the income status of women with disabilities, uh, women being able to acquire uh, property like land, and even um, education of the girl child with disabilities still low. So those kind of services is what we should now do for women with disabilities. Um, I am very proud of Nwodu that uh, it has brought women from uh, very the, the low levels to the high levels, but also it has been able to attract a lot of de uh, development partners to support issues of women with disabilities. So thirdly, I am proud to also hear that now Nwodu has a home of its own which is a very big achievement for us as women with disabilities in Uganda. Nauru has existed and one of it is to uplift the standards of women with disabilities in terms of economic empowerment, in terms of their political life and social life, so that women with disabilities can stand on their own like any other women who are not disabled. Because you realize that if you're a woman in society, people look at down look at you. And it's worse than a woman with disability. So we used to know how to train our women to build the capacity. The other thing you will see that when you look at the people, chairperson is coming to meet, they would really be chairman. There would be no chairperson. So we use that opportunity to train our women to take leadership in the people. And I think I remember realizing about three, four women becoming chairpersons from the district of the people. So that was the major aim why we brought to Nauru. And suffice to say, Nauru has produced leaders. Honor Mamadeli, who is not the current woman MP of Koboko, was my daddy, a member of parliament for women with disabilities, for people with disabilities in Northern Uganda. Now she's a woman for Koboko, but she was one of the board members. The minister, Honorable Naika, was a board member in that Nauru uh, executive. She became a woman MP, she moved to Kaluga, she became a minister, and these are things we are saying in the I am here talking about the chairperson, now I'm a member of parliament. So it's a, 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 a breeding ground to see that our women, we have formed so many counselors out of our little information used to give the women interaction. I can say there are women who are economically empowered, all they are able to keep their families. And we know that grow. And we are looking ahead to see that our issues of women service are integrated into the general agenda of Uganda and the agenda of other national NGOs. Not that we are talking of sustainable development goals. We believe that we shall be included. And the scales are limited.